Hi, my name is Linry, and this is my February haul video. But first, if you enjoy nail polish related content, please consider hitting that subscribe button. It would mean oh so much. And thank you, thank you, thank you to the people who have already hit that button. Now, I want to be extra careful with haul videos that I'm putting out. A lot of this hobby is shopping, but I don't want people to feel pressure to spend money and whatnot. My fiance and I, we set ourselves a fun budget and if we don't spend that money, it kind of rolls over into the next month. But I do want to clarify that most of my collection, yes, it is a lot. I do have a lot of nail polish. I have a shelf of it. But most of it was purchased on sale. About 80% of my collection was done on Black Friday or when these brands do their annual sales. So there is no shame in waiting for a sale. Honestly, it's much smarter. A lot of these polishes are not limited edition. They'll be around and if you wait, you can save like $4 a bottle, which is really nice. With the way months have been passing by <laughs> recently, Black Friday is just around the corner. But let's get into it. So I'm gonna cheat a little bit for my month of February because in the month of January, I only purchased two things and they were towards the end of January, so I'm just gonna slide them into February. <laughs> On January 28th, I made my first Moxie nail varnish purchase and I was so pleased. NYX Polish on Instagram, I will link their Instagram account in the description below, contacted me to let me know that Moxie has a nail file that I was kind of looking for. I purchased this nail file from Moxie and it's $13.25 USD and this is a honking big boy. <laughs> I constantly struggle with my man hands. I have very large hands and I don't mean that in a disparaging way if you also have large hands, but I just don't have the tiny hands that a lot of nail people seem to have. So while dealing with the normal nail files, my hands will cramp quite a bit because I'm just grabbing. I'll use a hollow taco file as an example. I'm just grabbing at it. It's hard to hold in my big hands. <laughs> hmm, impressive. <laughs> Quit bragging about your big hands, Linry. We get it. They're big. <laughs> but these nail files are very difficult for me to hold onto and I'll find that my hands cramp quite a bit and filing down my nails can be quite a painful experience just in the joints of my fingers. So I find Moxie's nail file extremely pleasant to hold. Now I will say my Hall Taco nail file is of better quality. It takes down nail length a lot quicker. So if I need to take down nail length really fast, like I have to get this manicure done today at a certain time, I will still grab for my Hollow Taco. But if I have like pure, like this is a relaxing day, no, nothing's gonna stop me. I have all day to paint my nails. I will reach for my Moxie. It does take down nail length quickly, but not nearly as fast as my Hollow Taco. But I have thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed this. And if you also have big hands, maybe make a purchase with Moxie. <laughs> but I couldn't just make a singular purchase with Moxie. The $13 nail file didn't get me to free shipping, which Moxie's free shipping is $25. So I decided to purchase a nail polish. I wanted to actually give them a shot. I've heard mediocre manis just talk about this brand nonstop. So I wanted to give them an actual shot. And because NYX Polish recommended the nail file, I decided I'm gonna give their nail polish a chance. They collabed with Moxie to release a polish called Birthday Cake. I really, really enjoy this polish. It's this lovely cookies and cream polish. It has black glitters running throughout and this light, soft, just deliciously brown base. This is gonna be a lovely polish four backgrounds and I'm so excited. I was able to get this opaque in two coats and I did wear a peel off base coat with it just because those black glitters would be somewhat difficult to remove. I was extremely impressed with the formulation of this polish. I really, really enjoyed it. The one thing I didn't enjoy about this polish is when I paint my nails, I always lotion my hands after removing my nail polish. That way my cuticles don't dry out. So you have to remove the cap to this to get to the cap and I'll take up close photos of this but what happens is this is a sharp cap so it's hard to open and actually hurts my hands to open so that's my only qualm about this nail polish it's just the cap it's 
it's hard for me to open. <laughs> Wham. But overall, on the 28th, I spent $25.38 on Moxie nail varnish. Now we're actually getting into February. <laughs> on February 10th, Holo Taco released their Lost in Space collection. I purchased that. I was looking forward to this. I wanted all those polishes, so I was totally okay with paying for all of them up front. But also, I finally hit one of my goals of 2024, and that was to swatch out at least half of my collection. Now, if you didn't watch my New Year's resolution video, that's okay, I'll fill you in. <laughs> At the beginning of this year, I had 68 polishes in my collection that were not swatched out. That just means polishes that I have not photographed or taken video of. I don't have any untrieds in my collection. I use a lot of them in nail art and stuff like that. I just didn't have the swatch footage and I just wanted swatch footage taken of everything. Well, I now officially only have 11 Woo! polishes in my collection that are unswatched. Woo! Are you kidding me? Bam. So when I made my Holo Taco purchase, I had already brought that number down to 20 and I was like, all right, I said once I get halfway through these, I get to purchase Extra Central Crisis and Foiled again. So I added those to my order. Now I already have a review for the Holotago Lost in Space collection. I'll link it in the cards if you are interested in that. But I have yet to talk about Extra Central Crisis or Foiled again. Were they worth the wait? Were they worth that pressure that I put on myself to swatch out my collection? Spoiler alert, yes they fucking were. <laughs> I'm gonna start with Foiled again, the polish I was looking so forward to that I was literally like just sitting in my room like, oh, I want it so bad, but I can't buy it because of the stupid constraint I put on myself. <laughs> Foiled again is this beautiful green flaky. I love green polish. I love Holo Taco's Frosted Metallic Formula. This was killing me that I couldn't buy it until I swatched out a certain amount. <laughs> I was able to get this polish opaque in two coats and I would suggest a peel off base coat. This is a bitch to remove. All Holo Taco's metallic flakies are pains to remove. But good lord this was worth the wait. Oh, it was so stunning and beautiful on the nail. I was so impressed. I'm so happy with it and honestly I'm glad that she kind of took it back to the drawing board because in the Hollow Royalty thing, it leaned a lot more silver, and I'm just glad that they were able to figure out how to make it more green. I'm so pleased. So pleased this is in my collection. <laughs> and the next polish I picked up was Extra Central Crisis. Oh. Now, this is a polish that I was kind of on the fence about, but Nicole loves would not stop talking about this polish. She has several, several backups of this because she's like, I can't run out. And I'm like, okay, if Nicole loves, loves this polish that much, surely it's got to be good. It is. It is so beautiful. It has so much in the bottle, but it doesn't feel like too much. It has this lovely hollow sparkle running throughout. It is this flakyish bomb with a touch of multi-chrome. It leans from red to gray to green in certain angles. Oh my god. And two coats, two coats. Now I would suggest a peel off base coat with this. Ah! <laughs> it is a bitch to remove. Good Lord, but this was worth the wait and I'd say it was worth the hype that Nicole Loves put on this. I am thoroughly pleased with it. So on February 10th, I spent a grand total of $105.35 on Holo Taco. Now the month of February becomes extremely complicated for my fiance and I. Valentine's Day falls in February, duh, but also our anniversary falls in February. <laughs> I have officially been with the same exact man for 18 years. I have been with him longer than I have not. <laughs> February is a little bit expensive for us as we have Valentine's Day and our anniversary. Most of the time we just kind of merge them together. And also, I guess, let me just answer the question. You've been with the same man for 18 years. Why are you not married? It's because going downtown is a bitch. <laughs> and in the state of Florida, you have to go downtown twice. <laughs> it's pure being lazy. We've actually been engaged for 10 years. <laughs> 
it's just pure laziness and I know we need to get married just for tax reasons and like emergency room reasons and stuff like that but it's just like guys driving downtown <laughs> it's so terrible fuck and we have thought about doing a trip to Orlando and then getting married in Orlando and then saying we had a Disney wedding even though we don't have Disney wedding money <laughs> Apparently you have to see their courtroom twice too. It's bullshit. <laughs> but anywho, I didn't purchase these nail polishes, but since we share a banking account, I'm just gonna count it towards my haul total. <laughs> so it made things a little more expensive. But my fiance was like, okay, I need you to update your spreadsheet because I'm gonna buy you nail polish. So I need to know which ones you already have so I don't buy you duplicates. And I told him, look, everyone is suggesting to me Polish for days, blurring base coat. Get me this polish and then just find a bunch of polishes that you like the color of and then buy that. I don't own any polish for days, so you're in the clear for this one. And he's like, Whew. thank goodness. <laughs> so on the 20th, my fiance got me a bunch of polish for days and I have been so pleased with these polishes. I guess I'll start with the blurring base coats. So he got me two blurring base coats by accident. <laughs> The one I told him to get me was Soft Focus Lavender Ice. I wanted this one because my nails are very yellow and purple on the color wheel will cancel out yellow a little bit so that stainage doesn't come through as much. But then he also bought me the Plum Taupe one because <laughs> he thought it was just a normal polish. <laughs> which I think is funny, but now I get to try them out. I've only tried Lavender Ice so far and I've actually really enjoyed it. It is doing what I want it to do and I can see why people have been hyping this up. It is a good blurring base coat. But let's get into the polishes you got me, the more exciting things. The first polish is Magic Mirrors. It's this beautiful, ready purple with a gold shimmer running throughout and golden reflective glitters. Oh, so beautiful on the nails. Woo! <laughs> it is a lovely, lovely two-coater, and I enjoyed it so much. I would suggest a peel-off base coat for it. This is a bit of a flaky textured bomb, and I it would be difficult to remove. Now, it was also a teeny bit top coat hungry, so I did also double up on my top coat. That's not really an issue for me. I don't care about doubling up on top coats, but this was an absolutely stunning polish. The next polish that is up is Dragon's Breath. He got me this polish because, <laughs> because he liked the name. <laughs> He's a polish addict now. We've all purchased a nail polish just because it had a fun name on the bottom of the sticker, okay? <laughs> but it's this lovely, grungy, deepy reddy brownie color with these white flecks running throughout. This was a polish I wasn't too drawn to. I was like, oh wow, that's pretty. And then I put it on my nails and I was like, oh damn, this is the grunge, the edge I need in my life. <laughs> it also has like this kind of golden shimmer running throughout. It just hits the light so beautifully. I was so impressed. I swatched Dragon's Breath in three coats. I also wore a peel off base coat for this as those glitters I felt like might be difficult to remove, but I feel like with the soak off method, they'll come off easily enough, but this was an absolutely stunning polish. The next polish that is up is Sky High. <laughs> is this beautiful, glowing, soft blue with this green gold shimmer running throughout this thing illuminates your nails. Oh! There's also what I catch glitters. I don't think they're hollow, but glitters that are on the same wavelength as this green goldy shimmer running throughout, giving it just this extra pizzazz and sparkle in an understated way. I thought this polish was oh so beautiful. It laid down on the nail so wonderfully. Now I would suggest a peel off base coat for this polish as I feel like if you removed it with normal acetone methods, you'll probably find these beautiful glittery shreddy bits in your cuticles. <laughs> the next polish that is up is Illumination. This is a beautiful three coater. It's this pink shimmer 
in a gray base. Kind of like spirit fingers, but I feel like this pink shimmer is definitely a lot more loud than spirit fingers. I wouldn't say it's a dupe for spirit fingers at all, but if you want spirit fingers with a bit more, a bit more, ah, this might be an excellent, excellent polish to grab. As this is just a shimmer base polish, normal acetone methods will work just fine. No peel off base coat required. Wham bam. Thank you, ma'am. The next polish that is up is blue spruce. <laughs> Good lord. This is a stunning three coater. And this is St. Patty's Day in a bottle. It goes so green that on certain angles, certain lighting, you could kind of catch blue hues. It has a lovely light green yellow shimmer running throughout and it is just stunning on the nails. Good lord, I gasped. I just, I didn't know what to do. I lost my mind. I love a green polish <laughs> and I love this one oh so much. It is so beautiful. This was probably my top favorite that my fiance got me. I can't believe he picked out this color. He tends to like grays and darker, dungier colors. I am just so pleased with this. I feel like it might look good in like a Mardi Gras mani. I'm just very excited to work with it again. I wonder how it will water marble. I just, this is making me feel creative and I love it when a nail polish does that. As this is just a shimmer based polish, it is easily removed with acetone, no peel off base coat required. It is absolutely beautiful. So on February 20th, that means my fiance spent $82 on nail polish, which was kind of astounding how like he just got 82 exact. <laughs> I I checked the bank account. It's not him telling me how much he spent. I just checked it. I'm like, $82 exact? Damn. So overall, for the month, the month of February, I <laughs> spent $212.73 on nail polish. <laughs> okay, that's a lot. Technically, in the month of February, I only spent $105. But I tacked on January, which in January I only spent $25, okay? <laughs> and then my fiance spent more money on nail polish, okay? This isn't all my fault. <laughs> Sorry, that number's just really big for me. <laughs> I don't normally spend that amount on nail polish, but that's what happened in February. Overall, I'm extremely pleased with all my purchases. I didn't experience any duds and I was just over the moon with all my purchases. I do want to say again that waiting for a sale is perfectly viable. Please wait for sales for nail polish. You know, I don't want to encourage people to spend outside their budget and stuff like that. Please know I budget my life accordingly. I never dip into savings for nail polish. <laughs> I always have a specific budget. But if you enjoyed this video, please consider hitting that subscribe button. It would mean oh so much. And let me know what you purchased in February. I hope you enjoyed the video. Bye!